listen, we've got a wonderful super collector here. He's been collecting for 16 years. This is Daryl Shoemaker joining us again. But the interesting thing about him, JB, is you've been collecting for 16 years, but right. there was once a fire in this uh, building complex where you live. Right. It wasn't in your particular apartment, but, you know, everybody had to leave. Right. What did you grab? Well, it was in Arlington, Virginia, and the first thing I grabbed, I didn't even think of it, I just grabbed this biography because I have it uh, signed to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I went down 17 flights of stairs uh, to, uh, to, to get save it. it. Wow. Not the cell phone, not the one with the clip <laughs> card. book. His Ronald Reagan autograph book, Passion, baby, Passion. That's it. All righty. Well, let's get into your collection because he's definitely passionate about it. The first thing that we want to see is this wonderful portrait of Ronald Reagan here. Right. Tell me about this. This portrait actually hung in the White House. Um, a friend of mine worked there for eight years and had it in her basement, didn't know what to do with it, and decided the best thing to do is give it to me. Al Ollie North actually wanted this. Now, how did you get this over Oliver North? Well, she worked there for eight years and uh, had seniority uh, in uh, picking the photographs that hung, yeah. and uh, she told him no. Good. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome, because he's not a collector like you with 4,000 pieces, that's you know. Right. Right. Okay, and the next thing that you have here is the complete Reagan papers. But what's actually in them? What is R it? Right. These are, this is everything that ever came out of the uh, White House uh, press office. Uh, for example, it's by date. So I, I attended a uh, Reagan <laughs> speech in Saginaw, Michigan, and you can find it. It's it's by date huh, ah, right there. Ah, okay, okay. So it's, how it, did you come about getting those? I was working on the Hill at the time and uh, found out about it through the Library of Congress. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and you're quite a collector here. Yeah. Well, we got some more stuff. Come over here, because you have some very fine items here. You've got actually mm -hmm. some cufflinks and tie pins and uh, tie clips. Uh, uh, who actually would receive these? These are items that uh, Ronald Reagan would give to visitors, uh, people that would visit the Oval Office. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, on the back of, of the, the the hat pin and the uh, cufflinks, they have the signature etched in the back. So. Ah, and are they quite mm -hmm. valuable today? They are. I've seen them in collector shops for about $200, $300 wow. a, a piece. piece. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. that's good. Yeah. All right, and now the other thing we want to focus in are your Ronald Reagan buttons. Right. Now, here you see maybe 60 or 70 of them, but the most prominent ones are the ones dated 1980. Why? Right. Well, these, this, is, this was the start of my collection when uh, my family took me down to the convention these were the first items that I bought. Uh, this is just a, a sample. I have about 800 in storage uh, at my parents' house in Pennsylvania. Wow, wow. 800 buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, and we want to take a look here at your program. This is the mm -hmm. inauguration ceremonies program right. from 1981. Were yeah. you there? I was not. I was only 13 years old. I wish I could have made it, but uh, <laughs> no. Uh, this was given to me recently by a friend of mine. That's actually how I received most of memorabilia at this point. Living in D.C., uh, you meet a lot of people that worked for Reagan, that attended the inauguration, and that they don't know what to do for things and right. uh, give them to me. Yeah, because they know you collect <laughs> word of mouth and right. everything. Plus, yeah. you know a lot of powerful people, actually, is what you're saying. <laughs> okay, now here, you have bricks of White House tickets. Tell right. Me, now, why do you have bricks? Why not one or two? <laughs> why, if it's 500 in a pack, you got 1,000. And you were telling me this is not all. Why right. do you have so many? Well, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually uh, I, working on the Hill. Uh, I used to, I, when I first began working there. I start. I was in charge of White House tours. Oh. Of course, that was under George Bush. But I found these in a uh, cabinet wow. in my office, and uh, they fit my collection. So wow. I uh, I have them now. And who would who would get these? Constituents that would come from all over the country, each office can give 10 tickets out oh. uh, a week for okay. the White House tour. Okay. And, uh, Have you ever actually met Reagan? Uh, briefly. It wasn't a one-on-one -on -one meeting, but I've been to some events, the uh, opening of the Ronald Reagan uh, Emergency Center over at George Washington Hospital, right. things like that. But I, I never actually had my picture taken with him oh, for a okay. conversation. But. If you're looking, Reagan, you really should take a picture with him because he's very passionate about his collection. And that's not all. When we come back, we're going to see lots more cool items, kind of maybe comical, if you might say. All right, back to you guys. Yeah, Glenn, did I hear that he has a, a toilet paper holder or something like that? Yes, I, I use that in our um, 
little commercial. All right. This is a toilet paper cover. So it's, with Reagan on the face. So some of his stuff is is uh, very humorous, Daryl. I guess some of the stuff you've got is very funny stuff. I mean, it's not just presidential right. stuff. Right. Some of it's funny. Some of it actually is not very complimentary of him uh, ah. either. So. Well, I don't know. I we'll think see. the I think the poster behind you may uh, may fall into that category. We'll take a look. <laughs> that's, that's me before I go to the gym. That's a, me on a bad day. We're going to take a look at some of that stuff a little bit later on. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you both very much. I think that, that presidential seal really just gives it that, that flavor. Thanks a lot. A lot of that presidential stuff, when you see that presidential seal, it just makes it just so authoritative, doesn't it, Claire? John, I don't think that President Reagan thought that he was going to end up on some of these collectibles one day. But that's very it's funny about political collectibles mm -hmm. is that you don't need licensing. The president falls into public domain. So you can put anything out of the president you want. And that's how you can make a toilet paper holder. A holder of the image president time. without having... No president matter how Reagan. they're going to feel about yeah, it. You don't need permission. Well, when you are a politician, a president, you're in the public domain. You, you own have just the learned. public owns you. We are continuing to learn around <laughs> here. Because we're getting a whole education. Now, yeah. imagine... We're starting with the Reagan collectibles. You have to have a sense of humor in life, and you have to have a sense of humor, I'm sure, to be a politician and president. Absolutely. So let's go back to Gwen and see some of the more Reagan collectibles that have more humor attached to it. Absolutely. Now, here we are again with Daryl Schumacher, collector, 4,000 pieces of Reagan memorabilia. As you can see, he has some really cool stuff. For instance, we have Reagan and Bush holding on to us the American people. So let's see some more of your stuff. He got this at $2.50 for $2.50 at some novelty shop. But an interesting thing here is the Ronald Reagan. What is that for? <laughs> oh, I like that. This was actually given to me again by uh, one of my old bosses who found it in his garage. <laughs> Had it laying around since 1980. Yeah, and, and the thing at the top it says, like that, that Jim old boy Carter. Oh. So that's what he was read it against me. That's really cute. And it, the next item is the a uh, hall teapot, right. and that's really sure gorgeous. Is. Tell me about that. Right. This is, um, as you said, a hall teapot. Uh, the hall company, they don't make a lot of faces, um, so that's why it's kind of unusual. My mother and her friend found this from a woman in Ohio uh, and gave it to me for a Christmas gift. Great. So. I think it's really cute. And that was the only one they had with their faces, right. that, with a face on it, you were saying. But basically, I think it's just saying, have some tea and think of me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now... Your next item here is actually like a, a like Ronald Reagan toy doll, right? right. It, it, it torches. <laughs> so what's the purpose of this here? Well, this is actually uh, one of two. The, the, other, the person he's fighting should be Gorbachev, but I don't have that one right now. I, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now here's an interesting thing here, Daryl. The Ronald Reagan inflatable health gift. Right. Tell me about it. Well, it's great for HOV lanes uh, <laughs> in the district, but he's deflating. Yeah. Um, I picked this up in Chicago oh, about six years ago. And I think it's because of the weather. He's the victim of that blizzard of 96 like the rest of us. <laughs> and, and finally here, the Ronald Reagan uh, comic books. I didn't know there was a comic book on him. I mean, you what? have the first edition. Right. Yeah. There are two more, and I do not have those. Um, but I, uh, I read this one cover to cover about ten times. And it's really good, huh? <laughs> first edition, always the most right. valuable. Right. And then a Ronald Reagan statue here, right. conveniently with an axe in his hand and jelly beans, because he's a lover of jelly beans. That's right. But the axe is to cut the taxes, cut right? The taxes. Cut the taxes. All right, you've got a marble. Sadly, we couldn't see everything, but we did get a nice sneak peek, and it's on its way to the Ronald Reagan Library. Right. We wish you a lot of luck. Thank you for with coming. With your 4,000 pieces. Give Thanks. me a few. I'm going to keep Bush Okay, here. <laughs> okay back hey, to you guys. Hey, Gwen, uh, he says that he's looking for the first two issues of that comic book. Uh, are you looking for the first two? Right, the the, the two remaining. Daryl, yeah. we, will, we will put a call out. Anybody has those, they want to get rid of them, <laughs> give us a call and we'll put you in touch with Daryl. How's Great. that? Great. All right. Great. Thank you very much. And thank you for opening up your home, sir. We appreciate it. Sure, thanks for coming. Thanks, Gwen. Pretty great, huh? Yes, and we learned earlier, like Alan was saying, when it comes to precedent, you can create any collectible you want. You don't need to get it licensed. That's right. That's why you'll That's see right. that wide range. Well, let's go back now. 